Hey guys, so for this video, I want to talk about some new and advanced keybinds that a ton of pros are switching to. To be more specific, we're gonna look at a new way to drastically improve your movement, and then a more optimal way to edit if you're already using Confirm Edit on release. Now, before you ask any questions on what settings or keybinds you should try out, please just watch the entire video until the end. I can almost guarantee I'll answer any question you have during the video by the time the whole thing is over. So really make sure you pay attention as I don't want anything going over your head or getting by you. Anyways, the first keybind option we'll look at is called double movement binds. These are something you guys may have heard recently from players within the community as top tier pros like Mongrel, Booga, and Tifu have officially swapped over to them. In order to explain what they are and how they work though, we're gonna need to take a step back and analyze movement in Fortnite. Your movement is exactly what you think it is. It's how you move or control your character in game. The thing is, there's a big difference in the movement of keyboard and mouse players when compared to controller and even Nintendo Switch players. Basically, when you play on keyboard and mouse, your movement is limited to eight directions, forward with W, backwards with S, to the left with A, and to the right with D. On top of that, you can combine W and A or D, as well as S and A or D, in order to move diagonally. On the other hand, people on controller can move a full 360 degrees in whichever direction they like, solely because they have a joystick. So the problem that arises for keyboard and mouse players is that you cannot sprint forward while looking left or right. Remember, you need to hit W in order to sprint forward, and since pressing W moves you forward in the direction of your crosshair, aka wherever you're looking, Pressing W and A will only make you move diagonally in the direction your mouse is pointed. This results in really awkward situations when you need to build to your side while moving forward. To get around this, you either have to keep looking straight and then placing builds to your side, or look straight while jumping and placing builds to your side. Regardless, you're never fully sprinting forward. If you were on controller though, that would not be a problem. The 360 degree movement does not limit you to eight directions like a keyboard does. This means you can point your crosshair to the side, build whatever you want, all while sprinting forward. You guys remember that video LG Beaks uploaded about the quote unquote best keyboard ever? Well, even though it was not technically about a keyboard, it was about something called the Azeron Keypad. That device gives you the benefit of having controller movement while still being able to aim with a mouse and having tons of different keybinds like on a keyboard. So when you think about it, the Azeron Keypad is basically just like any other keyboard except that you get 360 degree movement. Wait, Jarian, are you telling us to buy an Azeron Keypad? No, no I am not. I'm just trying to get you guys to realize how much of an advantage controller movement is. But wouldn't it be nice if we could get controller movement without having to spend $200 on a weird keyboard? Guess what? With double movement keybinds, you can. Just go into your settings, over to your keybinds, and down to the movement section. Then, rebind your left movement option to any key that you don't hit with your ring finger. This is extremely important because you have to be able to hit W, A, and the third keybind at the same time. I personally bound it to C as I wasn't using C for anything and I can hit it with my thumb. After that, go to your right movement option and bind it to another open key, this time that you don't hit with your index finger. I decided to use my thumb again and go for left alt. What this does is anytime I hold down W, A, and C, I can sprint forward while looking right as if I'm on controller. Same thing goes for W, D, and left alt in the other direction. 
double movement keybinds straight up gives you controller movement on keyboard and mouse. This means you can build to your side while moving straight ahead or even edit builds while sprinting in a circle. These are things you previously could never do on a keyboard and mouse. A YouTuber named Ryan Egan made a video showcasing different drills to practice which I'll link down below. As you can see, when you master these new keybinds, which will take some time, you'll have so much more potential as a player in regards to your movement. You can literally have just as good or maybe even better movement than some people on controller. Now, if you're sitting there and you're still not sold on the idea or you think it's a bit gimmicky, don't worry because I initially did too. I thought to myself, is it really worth using up two extra keybinds just so you can sprint sideways? Yes it is, but not for the reason you think. The real advantage, which I haven't seen anyone talk about, is FOV and information. Bala TW explained this and helped me realize it in his VOD review of Unknown Army. And really quickly, I'll show that clip. You know, maybe 25 for most players, so. See, this is what I'm talking about though, like how he's, how he's keeping vision while still going forward. Right, that, that is... That is something that's like, that's like not playing, like playing on double movement binds or controller movement feels like to me, it feels like back when stretch was the thing and you weren't playing on stretch. Like you're just, you're just losing a serious, like obvious advantage. So because you can sprint forwards while looking to the side, you can see everything that's going on around you. On normal binds, you'd lose that FOV or field of view because you have to keep looking back forwards. Bala even went as far as saying that not using double movement binds is akin to not using stretched res back in the day. That's how useful that extra FOV can be in certain situations. Plus, it takes two seconds to enable and it gives you an immediate advantage. So if it has not been clear already, I highly recommend you start using double movement keybinds. The other advanced keybind option I wanted to cover is editing with right click rather than left click. Why would you ever want to do that? The answer is because of confirm edit on release. You guys should all know what that is by now and what it does. If you don't, it's a setting that makes it so your edits are only confirmed after you let go of left click. One of the big drawbacks it has though is that it prevents you from doing the mongrel classic. The mongrel classic is when you take a wall, select the tiles for the edit, and then hold down left click as you confirm the edit so your ramp instantly places. With confirm edit on release, you have to let go of your left click for the edit to go through. Meaning in order to place the ramp, you'll have to let go and click left click again. Yes, I know, technically you can do the mongrel classic like normal just by hitting your edit key again but once you switch over and start using edit on release it feels really unnatural to go back and hit your edit key again to confirm the edit on top of that, it will mess up your muscle memory if you're using confirm edit on release sometimes and then you're not using it other times. The solution that was proposed by Raider464 is to edit with right click. So instead of pressing my edit key and selecting the tiles with left click, you now select them with right click and can still hold down left click to turbo build. This makes it so you can do the mongrel classic even faster than mongrel can all because you're using confirm edit on release and you never let go of left click. This also makes it so all of your builds and edit combinations are faster and cleaner. Let's say you're tunneling for example. With right click to edit, you can edit faster because of confirm edit on release and build faster as you can hold down left click to place builds the entire time you're editing. It's better in every single way. However, there are some drawbacks. One is that you may have to rebind your ADS key because anytime you miss an edit, you'll end up aiming down sight and looking like a clown. Then the big drawback is of course that this will take time to get used to. Editing and box fighting will be pretty weird at first, especially if you're used to ADSing with your shotgun after you perform an edit. 
but I do think it's worth a try if you haven't yet used Confirm Edit on release or you're planning to switch to it. I already use Confirm Edit on release with left click and I'm still gonna give right click edit a shot in the next week or two. Lastly, I believe Liquid Chap switched to right click editing and Raider said he would if he wasn't using two edit keybinds already. So obviously it is better and more optimal, it just depends on whether or not you're willing to take the time to master it. Overall guys, that's everything you need to know about double movement binds and right click editing. I really do recommend using both, especially double movement binds because of how easy they are to set up, but in the end, it's all up to you. So if you enjoyed the video, then do be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and to turn on post notifications. Shout out to everyone using code Jerrion. If you guys didn't know, using my code does support me, and I have to say this so I don't get arrested by Donald Mustard, hashtag ad. Otherwise, that's it from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.